Hello YouTube, this is going to be my tactical pry bar. We did that thing where you lay the rope on there, then you pull it back through. Uh, there's all kinds of videos on that, like when you put on an axe handle. We're going to coat this in epoxy. We're going to put some layers of masking tape out, because we want the epoxy not to get past there. It won't be much bigger, we just want to coat this so it lasts longer. We're going to use plain old hobby style stuff I got it upside down so I can get the last out of the bottle we're gonna mix it on a CD DVD whatever you want to call it uh, we're gonna use some brushes a brush some people call these acid brushes machinists use them for putting oil on parts on a lathe but it seems to work good and we're not gonna worry too much about the bubbles this will be a working tool about a shell piece so. Here we go. We'll bring you back once we get the epoxy on and it is done and cured. Uh, it's probably going to take 24 hours. There's a little bit of a bump here. You're really not going to notice it. We will tape all this off. Right in here. So stay tuned and we'll be back when it's done. Okay, let's get the camera straight. It's been about five hours. This stuff cures quick. I mean, it, in a few hours, you can touch it. It's still a little gooey, but uh, I think if I was going to make a knife handle, I would make it a lot more, you know, humped up in the center, like kind of like the old hunting knives. And I didn't mention, I took the center out of this paracord. That means take this white stuff out of it, which makes it fold flat. Like I said, I did that trick where you lay the loop up here. So when you get done, you put it through, then you pull it back through. That's why there's a big hump there. You don't have to do that if you wrap it carefully and put a little bit of super glue to hold it. Then go down and then tuck it in and super glue it down here, which it was. As it goes back and there is some super glue holding that. Because it'll soak right through that paracord and it will harden it will not come off it might slide but it won't unravel there you go I want your opinions you know I could sand this down put some more cord over it uh, one of the tricks to put in paracord and make it humped in the middle I did my paracord hammer is start here in the middle and make one row one wrap around then go down here, okay, then come back and go over top of it. So you've got double in the middle. But it's a tool, so I figured I'd experiment on it. I don't really kind of like how I cut that off, you know, to clean it off here. I had the masking tape. Now, don't wait till this stuff is super hard, or you'll be chiseling on it. And I waited a little bit too long. I was really working on it. I had this knife going away from me, okay, and I was in here. Uh, pressing and really chopping on that stuff to get it off there. You know, don't go like this. That's a no. That's a no, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it ain't fun. I don't want to do it. There you go. I want your opinion. Is that good enough for a tool? You know, my hand is you figure you're going to hold it like this. And if I hit something with a hammer, I'm not going to hit it real hard. You know, if I drive, I'm not going to hit it where I can hit my hand. But it gives you a little something more to grab onto. Like I said, you could have this for a tactical tool. I mean, to carry with you. It's heavy. It's, not, I want to say two pounds, but point pound and a half, but it's heavy. You know, you could use this to get in and out of stuff, you know, not as a burglary tool. You heard me say it on the video, but I could always go back and say, go right back to this time, this is where I said that. No, if you were trapped somewhere, you had to get through something. Tactical, like my big tomahawk where it'll rip through a concrete wall. So, there you go. Well, it's hard to fit this in camera, ain't it? One foot long. Well, a little over 12 inches. Thanks for watching.